Hi there, Nini. So it's nice to see you've written us more essays. Great work. Let's take a look and see what you've done here. Okay, uh, people spend money on weddings. Do the benefits of this outweigh the disadvantages? Now, one thing you need to be aware of here is that you um, really need to make sure that you include benefits, plural, and disadvantages, plural. Okay, so you really must include more than one of each. Just keeping that in mind, let's take a look uh, specifically at what you did here, though. Okay, people throughout the Western world have debated what the appropriate amount of money to spend on weddings is. Why? Because it's not a question. There's no reason to put the verb here. Um, so you need to make this sentence form. What the appropriate amount of money to spend on weddings is. Some believe it is a once in a lifetime event and that is why there should be no limits on budget. Personally, I strongly disagree. This essay will argue that weddings should be kept simply, no, simple and modest, adjective, adjective, using examples from the Wedding Institute survey and a happy bride organization to demonstrate points and prove arguments. Okay, fine. Um, be careful though. This, even though you, it was very good that you put your opinion here, I hope that this does not, um, that this kind of position does not um, continue into your arguments because they're not asking if you should think they should be set, kept simple and modest, but that the disadvantages of spending money are greater than the advantages. It's a slight difference. So let's look at what you wrote and see if you um, followed the prompt appropriately. Okay, let's take a look. On the one hand, there is ample evidence that weddings are the biggest and most joyful family reunion there is, comparing for example, to funerals. Okay, compared to, for example, funerals. Uh, however, we don't start sentences with but, so it should be however. The central reason for this is twofold. Firstly, during the past few decades, people have started to invest lots of money to organize weddings. That in turn has created a growing and lucrative new industry, according to Wedding Institute survey. Uh, for example, catering and costume design to name but a few. Secondly, the empirical studies from Wedding Institute shows, no, show, because it's studies, show, that investing a lot of money in weddings does not necessarily lead to a happy marriage. Conversely, according to the survey, couples who invested over $50,000 uh, on their matrimony were twice as likely to divorce as couples who spent less. Okay, I'm going to finish the rest of the essay and then I'll give you my, my kind of holistic feedback about this. Okay, it must not be forgotten that although weddings are above all family celebrations, plural, people tend to copy one another, therefore with an E comma. It is conclusively clear that there is hard work to avoid weddings turn to arms race. Careful here, let's fix that grammar. It is conclusively clear that it is difficult to keep weddings from turning into an arms race. For example, an extensive study by Happy Bride Organization showed that brides who had been attending weddings without the two one year before they got married themselves increased the budget from the original level enormously. From the arguments and examples given, I firmly believe that keeping weddings simple, with an E, not an Y, is the best way to start a healthy relationship as a married couple. Okay, I wanted to see how you developed it um, so that I could kind of go through the development of this essay. Okay, so um, let's talk a little bit about the, the essay you wrote here. Um, obviously, there were some grammatical problems throughout. We've already corrected them, so I'm not gonna go into any more detail about those. But I do wanna talk a little bit about the development of the essay, okay? The topic is, Basically, what are you supposed to do? You're supposed to discuss the benefits of people spending money, and you're just supposed to discuss the disadvantages of people spending a lot of money, and um, then decide which one is stronger, which one is better, okay? Or which one you would support more. So, first of all, I... Here, you started to talk about the benefits of spending money on weddings. It, it started to go okay. So you started to say that 
it has created a growing and lucrative new industry. Okay? But then it took you a while to get there, I should say. Okay? Um, in other words, I wasn't really clear until you got around here in the middle of the paragraph. But then you had this idea about people who got divorced when they spent so much money. That didn't really fit. So, in other words, the, the central idea here was kind of difficult to get here, to get to, sorry. Um, look at this. You say weddings are the biggest and most joyful family reunion there is compared to, for example, funerals. All right, that doesn't really give the reader an understanding of what the central idea of this paragraph is. Are you saying that that's justification to spend a lot of money on weddings? Or are you saying that that's the reason why we shouldn't spend a lot of money or why there are disadvantages to spending a lot of money? So you had this um, topic sentence here that didn't really help make the central idea of your paragraph clear. And then uh, your viewpoint here was that you, um, there are some positives to this trend, came in here, the middle of the paragraph. But then this didn't support that at all. So I was really confused about the development of this paragraph. There was not a logical progression of your ideas, and the central idea was not clear. Okay, so this is absolutely going to affect your coherence and cohesion score. Um, and then, again, this, I mean, it, it didn't sound like you were you certainly weren't talking about the benefits of this trend anymore. Uh, and then here, uh, this made no sense to me. I didn't know really what this was saying. It didn't sound like this was a, a paragraph about the disadvantages. Uh, you said that people copy each other, and it turns into an arms race. Um, and then they increase the budget of their original... Uh, plans. So uh, the development of this was really very uh, confusing to me. Um, I, what do I think uh, are the disadvantages? I mean, if, just to give you some ideas, because perhaps the problem was that you couldn't come up with some um, ideas to develop this. Uh, if that's the case, then you could have said some things like um, Marriage becomes not about the love that two people share, but about show and about showing off and about um, everyone trying to do bigger and better. And this becomes um, really just a display of wealth and it becomes a commercial affair rather than the union of two people who love each other and who are starting out their lives together. So the meaning behind marriage becomes lost and it becomes instead this um, consumeristic kind of event, okay? That's the kind of thing that you could cite as a disadvantage. You could say, for example, that one of the disadvantages is that a lot of people end up taking out loans in order to pay for their weddings, and that um, this is very difficult when a couple is starting out to have um, debt over their head, uh, when perhaps they need to purchase a house, they need to save money to start a family, and so forth. So they're starting their lives with, um, um, you know, a negative balance in order to pay for these high cost weddings. So those were some of the things that you could have mentioned as the negatives about this. Okay. Um, so yeah, what I was saying was that both task achievement and coherence and cohesion here were problematic because this really felt like it, I don't know, uh, wasn't really on topic. I, I, it was very difficult to follow. So, um, that's what I had to say about this essay. I mean, you did do some good things, but really it was problematic in terms of how you answered the question. Let's take a look at this one now. It's the, oh, and it's nice and big so I can read it. Thank you so much. Okay, so school preferences, 2014-2017. The pie chart shows the preferred the different preferred school subjects in New South Wales in the years 2014 and 2017. The most prominent features from this chart are that math and geography have lost uh, interest among the students in the three years, whereas history and biology have gained popularity instead. Okay, all right, fine. Math's interest among the students 
over have. You can't use present perfect because it has no relationship to the present. This is all in the past. You need to use past simple tenses. So it halved comparing the two time periods from 27.2% careful with your spelling here it's P-E-R to 12% uh, a trimester less pupils chose geography from 27.7% to 18.7% not a trimester a third I think you mean a third fewer a third fewer pupils okay on the other hand History multiplied its popularity from 1.2% to 19.2, and biology almost doubled from 13.4 to 24.1%. The least studied subject during both time periods was IT, only slightly improving from 1.2% to 1.4%. You right here leave out. Okay, let me see why you thought to leave this out. Physics gained some more pupils from 19.4 to 21.2. Other subjects almost tripled participants, which may be partly because chemistry, which was in year 2014 chart with 1% preference, did not appear in year 2017 and was probably merged in other subjects. Um, first of all, absolutely do not leave out chemistry. That's a big deal that it appeared in 2014 and did not appear in 2017. In fact, all of these, all of these categories, all of these subjects are considered key features, okay? These are the things you absolutely have to mention at least by name, okay? Um, so we need to know what subjects were included at the very least. So no, if you had left this out, I think that would have been um, very detrimental to your task achievement score. The grammar is a little off, but... Um, and I'm not entirely sure about the organization here. So why do I say this? Because look at this. You're saying that math dropped and geography dropped. Then you're saying that history increased. Um, you're saying that IT increased. And then you have a new paragraph for physics saying that it too increased. Um, and that other subjects tripled, but then you say that chemistry decreased, it disappeared. I would not have put that here. I probably, I don't know where I would have put the chemistry. Maybe I would have, um, well, I mean, I would have probably just organized this a little differently, but I don't think that these two sentences belong with each other. Is it two sentences? Yes. Um, I don't think they belong with each other. I think that physics probably should have gone in this paragraph here, and you should have found some other place for chemistry. Okay. Over, not in overall, but overall. Overall, maths missed its first place as the most popular school subject to biology. Not really proper English here. Lost its first place. Not missed. Lost. History rocketed from backwaters. Also not really appropriate. Um history increased in popularity whereas physics okay, this is too detailed for an overview remember that your overview should um, give the overall trend okay it should give the reader um, the overall idea the overall sense of what's happening in these pie charts so just to give you an idea of what a potential overview could have been for this you could say that um, between 2014 and 2017, preferences uh, for subjects changed considerably with some increasing, some decreasing, and some uh, no longer appearing as preferred subjects. All right, that would be appropriate enough, I think, without getting into too much detail. All right, so Nini, go ahead and correct these, please. Um, correct them, send them back to us corrected, add to your error correction list. I want you to really be careful with the grammar, okay? Um, that was a little bit of a problem. So go ahead and correct these. Send back your new essays as well. We're here. We're waiting for them. Okay, so best of luck with your next set of essays.